there! Well, today I am very excited to be bringing you my top five favorite blushes. I love seeing top five videos on other people's channels, so I thought it would be kind of fun to share this with you today. It was really hard for me to choose just five because blush is one of my most favorite makeup items. It's just really a way to pull together your look. It's a way to change your look subtly. I like the subtle differences in colors, whether they're leaning a little bit warm or a little bit cool. It's just a really fun way to accent your look. So I've chosen the five that I find myself reaching for most often. I think they're all the most versatile. They're versatile on a variety of skin tones, and they go with a lot of the different eye and lip looks that I like to wear. It was a little bit hard for me to order these from number five to number one because I do wear them all pretty much equally, but I think my number one choice is one that I probably wear more than all of the others. So if you are interested in seeing what my top five blushes are, then just keep watching. Starting with number five, I have MAC Blush All Day. This is from the Pro Longwear Collection. It's $26. It has a semi-matte finish, and MAC describes this as a light, dirty rose beige. This is very neutral. It does show up probably most beige on my skin, but it is really nice for a warm lip, a neutral lip, or any of the neutral pinks. I like to wear this a lot with MAC Modesty for one of my go-to looks. It's just a really beautiful color that is going to be more pink, I think, on a darker to medium skin tone, and it's going to show up more beige as it does on my fair skin. This has a great wear time. I really like the formula. I like the finish that it is semi-matte. It's very comfortable on the skin, and I feel like it does stay pretty true to from when you apply it toward the end of the day. I really enjoy these MAC Pro Longwear blushes. So this has been a really good choice for me. And actually, this is one that I just opened because I already finished one of these. So as you can tell, it is very much a favorite of mine. Number four is going to be a favorite of a lot of people. I'm sure this would be in a lot of people's top five if they were asked. And this is Tarte Exposed. This is a nude pink. It is $26. And it's one of the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. Again, a soft matte finish. This does have a little bit more of a plummy color to it as opposed to MAC Blush All Day, which has a more uh, sorry, I'm trying to get this open, which has a little bit more of a beige finish. This has a little bit more of a plummy or mauve tone to it, but again, something very neutral that you can wear with a pink lip or a nude or neutral lip. If you're traveling and you only want to take one blush with you, this would be a really good choice. This has a little bit more of, like I said, a plumminess to it, whereas like the MAC Pro Longwear Blush All Day is definitely more beige in tone. Again, very well wearing, lasts throughout the day, nice formula. I really enjoy this one. Number three is probably one of the newer blushes to my collection, but it was definitely love from the first time that I used it, and this is Benefit Rockateur. This is $28 on the Benefit site, and it's described as a rose gold pink beige. It has a very soft, subtle shimmer to it beautiful color that I find myself reaching for a lot, especially in the fall. Again, you're getting a little bit of that beigey color, but also with pink, so it's really nice neutral. I do tend to choose more of the neutral colors, but this one I really love the finish of. It's not so shimmery that it's over the top. It's just a really beautiful, subtle sheen. This color is definitely buildable. The texture of the blush itself is very soft, so it's very easy to work with. So you can wear this as a light Light wash of color or you can build up the intensity a little bit but such a beautiful color this does have a fragrance to it so just something to be aware of if you're sensitive to fragrance but like a lot of the benefit blushes I cannot smell this once it's been on my skin for a little while I really only smell it when I'm applying it but just something to be aware of okay so now we are getting down to the top two favorite blushes in my collection this next one is a classic it is beautiful it is perfect it's always appropriate it, and it's one that I would almost go out on a limb and say that everyone should have in their collection. This is Chanel Rose Petal. This is a beautiful, beautiful, classic, sophisticated blush. This is one of the more expensive blushes in my collection. It is $45, but I do think it's well worth the investment. This is such a beautiful rose pink. It has a very, very subtle shimmer, nothing over the top. You're not gonna see big chunks of glitter. This is not going to accentuate your pores 
in an unflattering way. This is one of those great beautiful colors that just really adds a nice subtle glow to your face. It's a great accent color or you can build it up with a little bit more intensity but it's very hard to overdo this blush. It really just blends itself. It's a beautiful formula and it really goes well with any eye or lip look. This is one of those blushes that you could almost wear with virtually anything. It's going to be appropriate in any setting so if you need this for a professional environment or you want to wear this with a more casual look it's going to go with everything. So this is another one of those great blushes that if you can only have a couple or you're traveling and you only want to take one with you this is a really great choice. This is just such a beautiful favorite in my collection. Well, we have finally arrived at number one, and this is my most favorite and most used blush in my collection. This is MAC Stay Pretty. This is another pro longwear blush, which the formula of these I love. This is $26. It's a semi-matte finish, and MAC describes this as a light, bright blue pink. But this is not going to be an over-the-top pink. This is not going to be a clown, bright pink. This is just very subtly cool in color. It goes with, a again, a variety variety of lip and eye looks. It's what I'm wearing today and I have chose a cool eyeshadow look for this today and it does work well with this but I also wear this with warm shadow looks. To me it's that perfect flush of pink. It's a very natural pink that just in from the cold flush on your cheeks. You can just do a very subtle wash of this and it's just going to brighten up your face and give you a very healthy glow. I love that it's a semi matte finish so I know that this is always going to be appropriate. I don't have to worry about if it's a day or a nighttime color. This goes with so many different lip looks. I have found myself reaching for this a lot this summer, especially with lip glosses. For some reason, I feel like it just pairs very well with a natural light summer look, but I will also be wearing this in the winter when I start wearing my gray shadows more often. But again, this is just my most worn blush. It's one of those that I find myself wearing when I just don't know what else to wear. I just want my cheeks to not stand out. I just just want them to be natural and I want it to go with any look that I have. It's going to be stay pretty. All of the blushes that I've mentioned here today are permanent and still available so if you're interested in any of these just check with your favorite beauty retailer. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.